Cancer, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we are gonna pull some messages that are gonna help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your life or a specific person, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We're going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, beautiful Cancer, right down in the description box below. This is going to be your affirmation for the day. And we want you to bring this part of your awareness because this will create an awareness within your reticular activating system System, the system in our brain that allows us to focus on what we actually care about and what we actually want to bring part of our awareness and attract in. So I relax and money flows. I relax and money flows. I relax and money flows. This is very, 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 very important to understand this system because when your body, when your physical body is not in a state of peace or ease, then you are in a state of dis-ease, which is again, attracts in disease, right? Disease, disease. That's what that amounts to. So that's why it's more important for us to prioritize the inner state of peace, again, or ease or relaxing, right? Because what that will do is will, it will allow us to receive what we need to receive clarity wise for whatever is concerning us. That's the wonderful thing about the universe is whatever's been on your mind, love related, relationship related, um, you know, uh, business related, all the answers will come. They will just flow. You don't have to try or effort or look for it. It will just be so, but you do have to find yourself in a state of relaxation. So writing a gratitude list, showing appreciation immediately transmutes negativity, immediately transmutes those, those nagging thoughts, right? And looking for fairies is the symbol that there is magic all around you and you are always being guided. So when you look for the magic, you will see the magic. Right? When you look for the magic and you express appreciation, it will be there for you. But when you pay attention to the things in life and the areas of life, again, that you don't necessarily want to look for, that also becomes increased. Right, So that's why right now we feel like there might be a relationship in your life where there are some familiar patterns that are becoming repeated with that full 2.0 and the two of cups both coming out in reverse. But we don't feel like this has anything to do with the other person or anything like that. It has an inter This is an internal battle. This is an internal situation, Cancer. So internally, you're thinking about something or someone or a situation on repeat, and the thoughts that you're thinking about don't serve you. As a matter of fact, they are creating this frequency to re that's emitting from you that's attracting in the same result time and time again. Maybe you're attracting in the same type of uh, person that really doesn't relate, really doesn't resonate with you. You know, maybe you're attracting in the same response from your lover, whatever it may be. Either way, it's because of your, your, what you're choosing to focus on. You see what you're choosing to focus on. And so in this time and space, what that means is that it's time to educate yourself on a new opportunity or a new outcome. Maybe you want to learn about more about love or relationships in general. Um, maybe you want to, you know, educate yourself on uh, the law of attraction and how thoughts work and how energy works. But either way, it's about uh, educating yourself and creating more awareness, more awareness about the situation that you are in or about even just being able to be more self-aware, to be able to witness the familiar pattern that's taking place and always know beautiful soul. If you are attracting in the same outcome in your life with a person uh, or uh, you know a boss or a coworker, like you're receiving the same kind of uh, um, either attitude back, disrespect back, um, lack of, you know, whatever back, uh, it is an indication of how you're internally feeling about yourself. So whenever we bring our full power to the team, there is none of that um, lower frequency behavior we, we see back. We always see uh, very much a, we see the results of how we act, how we feel inside. That's why sometimes if we're not getting the results we're looking for in this game of life, we need to increase our frequency and feel better. And confidence is always how we do that. And confidence comes through knowledge. Knowledge will always bring us confidence. Always, always, always. So when we learn about something and we feel confident in what we've learned, 
That's when we bring that confident energy to anything that we do, right? Turning that knowledge into wisdom. Because as we feel more confident in this game of life from learning things and then seeing those things in our experience, oh my gosh, wow, yeah, I felt so much better about myself today. And then I realized my coworkers treated me better. I realized that my spouse was, was, was you know, on his best behavior, her best behavior, right? And we kind of are starting to see it. And that's when we're like, oh, oh, it worked. It's because I learned this thing and I felt confident. And then I received that back. And that's when we start to see the validation, right? And that's when we start to realize, oh, wait a minute. Yes, there is a plan. There is a plan. So if I feel, if I can, you know, if I can do this in this situation, I could do this in all situations. That means if I'm feeling, you know, maybe a lack of confidence in my place of work, if I learned more about the work that I'm doing or invested more time in educating myself or bettering myself in what I'm doing, then I would feel more confident going to work. I would have more of a sense of inspiration to go. It's almost like, you know, like in, it, it, I just watched this thing the other day and it was so insightful. And it was that like, if, if you have like children and um, if the children help you cook dinner, they're more in, in, in um, they're more excited or inspired to eat the dinner. So if it's like you're making a healthy salad and making some healthy, yummy food, right? Then the children will be more excited to eat the healthy food. But if they're not part of the cooking process and you serve them like a plate of cucumbers, they're gonna be like, ew, no, right? Well, some, some, right? So at the end of the day, it's almost like when you feel more included or when you educate yourself, when you feel more involved, that's when you feel more inspired, right? I'm learning a new course right now and um, it's something that's way out of my awareness. Like it's some a whole new skill set that I would have never thought that I would ever be interested in. However, the skill set itself aligns me entirely with the person I want to become. So that's a hell yes, meaning that I have to stretch my, what's in my um, awareness. I have to stretch my comfort zone. But I've now created so much confidence within myself because of the habits that I um, are non-negotiable with every single day, right? And my, my dedication to myself and my my love that I have for myself, that I have learned and practiced over the years. This was not something that I started. I started out in this five of pentacles, really very insecure, low self-esteem, um, you know, making choices that showed that I hated myself, right? And now after the years of practice and self-love, I have now been able to cultivate this energy within myself where I'm guided into new opportunities. And this is what we want for you, beautiful soul, is to start to practice self-love, self-care, and educate yourself, just educate yourself, just learn. Learn more about whatever it is that frightens you the most because chances are that thing that frightens you the most is the exact thing that's gonna align you with what you, who you actually wanna be. And when we uncover the veil of like that fear for a minute, we're like, wait a minute, it's not what I thought it is. That's when we kind of, doors kind of start to open up a little bit, right? Look into that thing that you really wanna do, but there's fear around it. Cause you can have anything you want. Now there's one thing we wanna remind you, okay, beautiful soul, and that is when you are at the start of a new adventure, a new journey in life with this Ace of Cups, a new beginning that's, that's, that you know is like re something you really desire. Whenever we really desire something, we tend to become very attached to the outcome. And when that happens, we end up going to an energy of forcing and efforting and striving. Rushing, trying to make things happen faster than they need to go, it happens every single time. I'm on this juice cleanse right now. I'm on day 12. I feel amazing. Oh my gosh, I feel amazing. And just the other day, I watched like two videos or something on prolonged juice fasts from other beings that have had success and they were just like juice fat, juice, juice, uh, fruit juices, fruit juices, fruit juices, even though my higher self is like green juices, green juices, green juices. And there was a bit of detachment there for a minute. I had to, my, my avatar self had to go off and try the fruit juices and whoa, was that a mistake? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So it just goes to show, right? We're, and it was, you know, because I was watching these things and I was creating an awareness and I was building momentum with this fruit juice. Oh, well, this person said fruit juice. Oh, well, this person said fruit juice too. Well, this person said fruit juice too. And I was creating this awareness, building momentum attached to this outcome that I had to try the fruit juice, even though my higher self was like, my higher self was like, have fun, kid. We'll see ya. We'll be back. You know what I mean? Because that's what the higher self does. The higher self waits patiently like, all right, we'll see, right? And here we go, two days later, come running back. Oh, the green juice, the green juice is grounding, right? So at the end of the day, just be aware of that energy of where you're trying to make it happen sooner than later. It'll happen when it happens. It's all gonna be up to divine timing. It's all gonna be up to, um, uh, you know, when the cooperative components have aligned and, 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 and you know, you feel ready and, and all those things. Like there's a, there's a lot that goes on with the uh, internal energy transformation process. And that's why it's more beneficial for us to be very mindful about how at peace we feel in our day to day, how at ease we feel. And are we living in that present moment, attuning to the, um, the impulses and uh, not getting lost in, uh, you know, what others are doing and, and, and so forth. Cause that can be a big one. 
and um, there will be a, again an internal transformation with that tower in reverse and that that internal transformation of releasing that forcing efforting energy that's a big one when we realize that lesson that spiritual lesson of detachment and true understanding of what attached to an outcome is and then releasing that wow that's that's a big one because then we know what that feels like for every other um, situation in life that arises that feels that same way and again it always happens in the beginning of a journey because that's when we're most attached to an outcome so anytime you're in the beginning that's going to be it or do something desire something so strongly um, there's one more thing we were going to add to that and um, that was going to be um, oh it'll come to us so we're going to move forward with your unicorn message of cocoon of white light look at this beautiful card rest in peace rest in perfect love understand oneness wow so at its highest 12th dimensional frequency source love is pure white it is carried by unicorns when they connect with you they bring it down to the vibrational level you are ready for while reminding you that your essence is divine love when you choose this card your guidance is to ask your unicorn to place you in a bubble of pure white light white unicorn love is a pure and powerful healing force it also soothes and smooths and strengthens your aura ensuring that no lower energies can enter and giving you time and space to rest in peace. Ooh, being held in love can affect you at the deepest level for as you rest in it, your consciousness recognizes that everything is love and that your ego sees situations or relationships through distorted lenses. The cocoon of white source light dissolves any feelings you may have of separation and difference, enabling you to merge with the oneness. How beautiful is this? So this is the time. Immerse yourself in that beautiful white light. And your affirmation for this card is, I rest in a cocoon of love. I rest in a cocoon of love. I rest in a cocoon of love. How beautiful. How beautiful. So that's your unicorns speaking to you there. And your angel message, oh la la, is entrepreneur dun, 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 cancer your angels say to you self-employment suits your disposition and intentions working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance we are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways so be clear about your intention of what you want for your life and stay true to that because then you will always have guidance for your inspired action because if you don't know where you're going then you won't know what your guidance is telling you because you won't know if it's the right thing because you don't know where you're going so know where you want to go in your life and your guidance will always show you the way now don't be attached to the outcome because things change right at one point my husband and I wanted to travel on, around the world on laptops and be free spirits and digital nomads well we did that for the last little bit now we're ready to go back home and plant some roots in a house so you know things change because you go through experiences you get that little bit of awareness you know you learn the experiences from it and you're like okay I'm good now what's next so at the end of the day don't be attached to too many outcomes just know kind of like how what you want right now what you want right now because what you want right now is what's best for you and what you want right now is going to lead you and prepare you for what comes next so no attachment just be free and allow your higher self to guide you we love you so much we hope you enjoyed your reading we hope there were messages in here for you and if there was like and subscribe we truly appreciate you spirit loves you i love you and until our next reading keep shining baby